ever since Guild Wars 3 was leaked, a lot of people have been commenting about the future of Guild Wars 2. Is it actually worth playing if you know a next one is going to come out and in some way invalidate the progress that we have on the main game? And I want to talk about it because a lot of people are very, you know, a bit scared. And even though I don't agree with this position that just because a next one, you know, a next game is going to come out, you should quit the main one that you're actually enjoying. I do think it's important to talk about it because I do think there's certain feelings that are valid. And hopefully we can all, you know, get to a conclusion and hopefully decide on which is the best thing to do for you. Subscribe channel for more content this. Go to my Ko-Fi if you want to support me. And let's get into it. So I made this uh, little list here uh, with every argument for yes and no. As you can see, I probably, you know, mostly agree with the no, but I want to start with a yes because I want to kind of, you know, I kind of want to tackle the biggest points in, in terms of negativity on the game. So the first negative point, when bad things happen is because Guild Wars 3 is coming. A lot of people will see when something goes wrong in the game, when a bug happens, when the content is not to their standard, and they will use that to say that the reason why this happened is because they're focusing, you know, the game in Guild Wars 3 and they just don't care about Guild Wars 2 anymore. And if Guild Wars 3 didn't exist, this wouldn't have happened in Guild Wars 2. And that dissonance in your mind, it'll make you feel very bad. It'll make you feel like it's not worth putting yourself, you know, it's not you know, worth playing this game because like, well, if they don't care, why should I care? Why should I play this game? Why in an MMO where, you know, putting yourself out there and being immersive in, the, you know, immersed in the game, in the world is very important. This specifically is very bad, <laughs> okay? And I don't blame anyone in feeling this way. As so honestly, you could even argue that the Secrecy Obscure expansion and everything we've seen until now, it feels, you know, that 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 already in, is in the air, right? The, oh, the content is not as polished. The content is not as big. The expansion doesn't feel as big. Even if, you know, you know, even if they're, you know, more quicker expansions, that feeling is very bad. And honestly, ArenaNet need to find a way, if they really want to go through this, they need to find a way for that feeling to disappear because I don't think it's completely unreasonable for, for people to actually feel this way. Even back in the day, even a few months ago, before we even knew about this, people were feeling this way. And if Enid doesn't, you know, find a way to deal with this feeling of in the community for the next expansion, we might be into trouble. And a lot of people might actually quit because of this exact same thing. Does it make a lot of sense? I do think so. Uh, honestly, I don't think there's a lot of the points in yes that make a lot of sense, but I think this one does. I think it is completely reasonable to feel, for people to actually feel this way. Even if at the end of the day, you know, if you're enjoying the game, you should play it. And if you don't, you shouldn't, right? No future. I think, honestly, that is one of the, also another good point. People will feel very, very bad about the fact that they know that the game will end at some point. MMOs are supposed to be forever, even though everybody knows that the servers might shut down eventually, that you know the company will move on. The illusion of knowing that the game will go forever is what people really want in MMOs. And the confirmation that this is not the case, that there's another game that's gonna come out, come out after, completely shatters this illusion makes people not feel very invested into the world. What's the point in me investing myself into this video game that will end? And one of the biggest appeals of it is that it will not end when I can just go play another one that I know won't end. I know that Final Fantasy XIV is not going to, you know, shut down. I know that WoW is not going to shut down or make a WoW 2. But this, we know that the Wars 3 is coming, right? So what's the point? What's the point in keep playing? And even though I don't completely agree with that train of thought, because, well, you know, it's a video game, and as long as you're having fun, it is what it is, it's what you should go for. I do understand that if that's an you know, a very important appeal of your uh, MMO experience, I completely could see someone quitting over this. The next one is, you will lose all your progress. This is true, you know, when a new MMO comes out, 
uh, especially specifically from you know the same franchise. You know, it comes from one to the other, from Guild Wars One, Guild Wars One to Guild Wars Two, from Guild Wars Two to Guild Wars Three. The progress that you have will be invalidated in some sort of way because there's a new game. Everybody cares about the new game, not the old one. So the achievements and the value of the things that you have in them in Guild Wars Two will be diminished. But I do think also. At the end of the day, the most important part is that you have the memories of you achieving these things in the first place. Does it really matter if people don't care as much now? I don't think so. A lot of people consider a lot of the, you know, classic uh, WoW items that you got back in the day as way more important than things that you would get right now because of nostalgia, because they are very much hard, you know, hard items to get. And... You know, they have a different type of value to them. Right? And sure, they're not as important right now, maybe, but they are important. And I think it's the same thing for things like Guild Wars 1. I think a lot of people do find, you know, something like God walking amongst mere mortals as a very, very, a very, very cool title. But the skins that you get from the Hells of Monuments as very important, even though that game is in some way, shape, or form dead. People do have feelings about those items, about those memories, and I don't really think, personally, that if Guild Wars 3 came out, I wouldn't stop caring about the legendaries that I grinded, about the titles that are grinded, and I do think that a specific point, even though a lot of people do uh, communicate it and feel it, I don't think it makes a lot of sense, even in their own perception of how the game works. The next one is, why play the game when the next one is coming? I think this is probably one of the most important and most valid points what's the point in playing a game that i know the next one is going to come out you know like why wouldn't i just wait until that one comes out where the actual future of the company and the game is out and uh you know just play that why should i waste my time on guild wars 2 if i can just wait for guild wars 3 and i think honestly i can't really give you that much of an answer on then if you're having fun you should play the game of course actually in this we have a few uh answers and con you know almost like counter arguments to this point uh, but we'll get into that um i do think if you actually um care about this a lot and you know you're like oh man i i don't want to play the game anymore because i know the next one is going to come out it's a waste of time in that case in i, th I almost feel like you're probably not having as much fun anyways uh, i almost feel like you are using this you know you know, there's things in the game that you can achieve as a an excuse to make you keep playing the game. Just because, you know, like a little bit of like the song cost fallacy. You are using the song cost fallacy to make you keep playing the game. And if this is what it takes for you to quit, honestly, good. You know, you kind of, you know, you ain't it kind of save you from your own song cost fallacy. I, I'm sure that they don't happy about that because they probably wanted you to keep playing the game and waste in your using money. But, you know... They kind of save you about this, you know. They kind of, you know, they 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 tell you, "Hey, bro, don't worry about your song cost fallacy because it's not gonna matter anymore." <laughs> so you should be happy, honestly, to be free. Uh, because honestly, if you really like the game, and this is the case, I think for me as well, you're gonna play it anyways. Because like, yeah, sure. I mean, maybe it comes out later, but like, bro, look, who cares? <laughs> like, literally, who cares? I enjoy the game. I'm gonna keep playing it. What else am I gonna play, right? Like, I I love this game. I want to keep continue playing it. And I think a lot of the points here, um, and I will say this later as well. I do, I think I think in some ways are kind of justifying, you know, the fact that you're not having fun with the game. And if you're not having fun with the game, you shouldn't play it. And that's about it. And also, I I don't want also comments kind of shitting on the people that believe this either. I think there are reasons to play the game now, and there are reasons to not play the game now, and all of them are valid. Okay. Uh, just because you quit the game because of any of these reasons, even if they're irrational, it's fine. At the end of the day, video games in some sort of way are irrational. We, you know, we're supposed to feel things about video games. That's we're not here. Here, you know, well, I guess we do sometimes do math, but it's it's about the feeling that makes the game that the game gives to us. It's nothing like this. Is not this is not real life. This doesn't really matter. Is to make, have fun, to get enjoyment, to be happy. Okay, if you're not, you shouldn't play. Even if the reason why you don't feel good is irrational, it is a video game. 
you can't sometimes you can't you know logic yourself into a feeling and if that's the case here you shouldn't play let's go for the reasons why you shouldn't quit Guild Wars 2 first how much does an MMO last most MMOs don't even last the amount of time that we have left for Guild Wars 3 to come out most people don't play MMOs the amount of time that we have until from here until Guild Wars 3 comes out. So does it really matter? We're essentially thinking, oh my god, guys, my game is gonna die, maybe, because we don't even know if it comes out, if it replaces it, we don't know anything, in the amount of time that I'll be done with this game anyways. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, right? Most people probably play MMOs, specifically one MMO before they get bored, for like, you know, pfft, two three years that's the scenario five and yeah there are some exceptions you know 10 years on or more those people are committed anyways they probably don't even care if something else comes out because they love the game that much most people are going to be done with guild wars 2 before guild wars 3 is even in half of the, its development so does it really matter that's probably one of the uh, saddest things about the fact that this got leaked because it just wouldn't affect anyone <laughs> honestly uh, so just thinking about, oh my god, maybe the game will die, maybe, maybe, in seven years, it's just, it makes, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's very logical and you shouldn't really think about it at all. Next one, maybe it will never come out. It's completely possible that Gilrusu will never come out and it will just be, uh, it will just... It will just be cancelled or be in development in hell forever. And the arena might actually have to go in and be like, okay, guys, we're back with everything on Guild Wars 2. Uh, it's way too early to tell. It's way too early to know what's going to happen. And at the end of the day, Guild Wars 2 will have a lot more expansions. And it's not really, you know, it's, it doesn't seem like it's going to die uh, at all at any point. Another point is Guild Wars 1 is still alive and worth playing. Uh, Guild Wars 1 kind of... The same thing that is supposed to happen to Guild Wars 2 happened to Guild Wars 1, and that game is still alive, still being played. And of course, the people that really like that game still play it, right? Just because Guild Wars 3 is going to come out, we don't really know how it, what it would be, if it's actually going to compete against Guild Wars 2, we have no idea. So, it's not like, you know, if you really like Guild Wars 2, you might actually just want to keep playing Guild Wars 2, even if Guild Wars 3 even comes out, right? So what's the point in even thinking about those things? It, in some ways, it doesn't really matter. Um, and all the progress that you're going to actually get is still going to be there for you to see and enjoy with the people that play with you and for yourself as well. Uh, we also, uh, it's possible that this could be a Guild Wars 2.5. Uh, Guild Wars 3 could just be an update, a very big update uh, of Guild Wars 2. A new way of looking at the game, you know, uh, new graphics, new systems, maybe a combat overhaul, anything like this. So, honestly, we might actually not even lose a lot, right? Uh, playing the game right now might actually be the best, uh, the best option because all that progress that you have right now in some way will be uh, you know, transport to the next game. So unless we actually know what Guild Wars 3 is, it's a little bit of a, you know, quitting over this. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit stupid, right? It doesn't really make a lot of sense. And of course, whatever Guild Wars 3 is, if it does come out, will bring a lot of new players and a lot of, you know, a lot of publicity for Guild Wars 2 as well, which probably, I mean, for Guild Wars 3, uh, which obviously um, makes us, you know, pretty happy because that means big content, not that game, and a, lot of play, and, and a lot of people playing with us as well. And of course, as well, even if it's not Guild Wars 2.5, we will have a host of monuments as well, most likely. A way of, you know, getting some stuff from Guild Wars 2 to Guild Wars 3. Some sort of, you know, let's say that maybe you have all your legendaries in Guild Wars 2, maybe you get a, speci a special legendary in Guild Wars 3 that looks very nice, and everybody that sees that you have it is like, damn, that's crazy that you have that. That actually might be the case. Maybe, you know, this is Scorpion, but maybe all the legendary skins moves from one game to the other. Who knows, right? There's a lot of reason. There's a lot of things that they could do with it, but let me tell you, having things in Guild Wars 2 will not be unrewarded in Guild Wars 3. It's not... I am I could... I, I don't know. I don't know what I could say. I am 99% sure I could... I don't know. I would bet 
500 bucks that we're gonna have some sort of carryover from Guild Wars 2 to Guild Wars 3. And I don't even have 500 bucks right now, okay guys? So look at that. I'm, I, you know, clip it and ship it. You know, if in seven years from now, guys, if Game Wars 3 comes out and we don't have anything, I'll always, you know, I'll do a $500 giveaway in the chat. I don't know. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to happen. The next one is, again, could be completely different and not cannibalize Guild Wars 2. They might actually want to make Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars 3 not compete to, against each other. Maybe Guild Wars 3 will be a very focused... Uh, you know, story game with some online RPG elements, right? But not to the extent that Guild Wars 2 is, right? Maybe it'll be a complete, like a fucking mobile game or insanely pay to win, right? Uh, maybe it's gonna be, you know, uh, a Guild Wars 1 remaster or something like this that essentially makes it so, you know, you we, it expands the Guild Wars universe, but it doesn't compete with the main game. We have no idea whatsoever what this could be, right? So, can we really be afraid of something we have no idea what it could be? And it could honestly be very w w good for Guild Wars 2? And yeah, I think, I think it's, uh, you know, being scared of some of this is, is, a bit, is a bit silly. I think it's, it makes no sense, right? Um, and in most scenarios, uh, Guild Wars 2 would be fine and we would be fine for playing Guild Wars 2 as well. Also... Of course, and this kind of goes with the last point, you might not even like Guild Wars 3. Guild Wars 3 might not be a game that you really enjoy. And at that point, well, you probably would go back to Guild Wars 2 anyways, and nothing would have changed, right? Even if it comes out. So does it really matter if it releases, if you actually play the game uh, and you like Guild Wars 2 instead? Not really, right? Not really at all. And of course, what else are you going to play? If you have another MMO that you want to play right now instead of Guild Wars 2, honestly, go for it. But I'm guessing that if you're watching this video and if you're that invested in Guild Wars 2, you probably don't. <laughs> you probably don't have something like this. You probably don't want to play Final Fantasy or play WoW, even though they're great games or any other MMO. Um, so why ruin your great experience that you have in the game that you love for something that, you know, it's not even here and it won't be here for over seven years. And at the end of the day, and I think this is the one, you know, this is the best. It's fun, so does anything else matter? If you're having fun, you should play the game and that's it, right? If you're having fun with Guild Wars 2, you should, you know, you should not care about what anyone says about, oh, Guild Wars 2 is dead and, oh, you know, Arena doesn't care about the game anymore and all this other stuff. Who gives a fuck, dude? It's a game, you're enjoying it, awesome. You're not enjoying it, leave that's it anything else is complete copium it's complete just i don't know mental gymnastics to justify a feeling that you should honestly just express and follow there's no point there's no point in debating it if you like it you should play it if you don't you shouldn't and that's about it the last thing i want to say is well classic wow for example died a long time ago but the people that love that game they didn't really care. They kept playing. Same thing for the people that played Guild Wars 1. They loved the game so much that no matter if, you know, the developers keep developing it, whether, you know, people talk about it or they don't, they're there because they love their game and they think it's the best. I think Guild Wars 2, regardless of what happens in the future, will always be this way. Any moment that you spend in Guild Wars 2 will not be wasted because it's such a good game that no matter what Ana does, it will never die. It's just that is special. And I probably will make an, another video about that. Uh, but I think it is really true. So if you really enjoy the game and if you like being in the world that the game provides to you and share it with other people, that is the only thing that matters. So try to turn for more content of this. Go on my coffee if you want to support me. Go to my twitch.tv slash generous with us to watch my stream. Go to my Discord to hang out and check my events on any game that I do. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you guys around. Love you all. Bye-bye.